Hello guys, this is Minu92 for Productive Gamers and we're back with the fourth episode of the Visual Basic Operating System series. Now, I've first got to apologise for it being so long since part three, which was, I think it was about two weeks ago actually. Uh, I'm really sorry about that, I've been bogged down with schoolwork and as well, these episodes, you may not think, but these probably take about three or four hours to prepare for each one, so... Um, Unfortunately, time has been something I haven't had very much of the last couple of weeks, so I kind of have to leave everything until the weekend. Okay, so today is more just going to be going over things that I kind of did wrong in the last couple of episodes. Um, well, not that they were wrong, but just to make everything look a bit nicer. I sort of messed up on a few things, and I, I found out I could do things that um, I didn't think were possible in VB, and I, I said, uh, I think, last episode about the transparency not working. Well, it turns out it kind of does. And although I was right saying the parent form uh, is the sort of background colour of anything that goes on top, um, there is a way around it. So I'm just going to show you what, what we've done so far before I go and like basically delete everything. Uh, so we had our splash screen, which looks amazing, I think. That looks really good. And then we've got the usual login screen with the little ID picture. And what we're going to do there uh, in one of the future episodes uh, we're going to have a sort of settings menu and you'll be able to um, you'll be able to select your own picture and different backgrounds and stuff so yeah okay this is the desktop which we had before which we're going to clean up because it was a bit of a mess and then here is our lovely start menu that looks I think it looks really nice so um, yeah and then we can go we've got the desktop tab that's the one we connected to the rest don't work at the moment not really anything there so we're just going to uh, try and um, fix that in the coming episodes. Okay, so what I'm going to do is let's go back into the Visual Basics. Right, okay. So what we're going to do is um, go onto the desktop and I'm just going to delete that straight off. I'm going to delete the background so we get back to our normal screen like that. and then what we're going to do is go up to background image and change that to the wallpaper which, so it looks exactly the same as it has done before and now that means we can have our button I'm going to see if this works, if the button doesn't work then it will definitely work with a uh, with the pitch box which I think is what I'll do instead so I'm going to, I'm going to get rid of that I'm going to get rid of the button now this is going to throw up errors in the code and you'll probably find if we go into here it'll say like button one dot click if we tried running it it wouldn't work because there isn't a button one anymore so instead what we're going to do is put in a picture box and that is going to take the place of this so I'm going to change it to be 64 pixels squared like that and then we're going to add in our uh, actually no first we're going to go to back color web and transparent so now you see that has taken hold of the actual background color or background uh, picture as it were and then what we're going to do then is go up to background image and just select our resource which is desktop orb so now you see that fits and what I wanted to do initially I think was sort of have it drop down in the corner I wasn't sure how this would look but I was thinking, if we had it sort of like um, in the corner, I think that would look really cool. Okay, so what we're going to do instead of that button is we're going to double click the picture box, go into the code, and then you can just copy out everything that's in button1.click and replace it just like that. And then you can delete this one here. So now we've just got pitchbox one and desktop load which doesn't do anything at the moment so that's fixed uh, you can just move this into whatever position you want I think I'm just gonna put it there so it's kind of just hiding in the corner now as with everything else we've got to go up to anchor or no I can't see that anywhere It. But basically all we want is for this to uh, 
had to be docked into the corner. Okay, well, never mind. Um, I'll try and get that. It would probably help if I had it clicked. <laughs> and we're going to go on to, yeah, anchor. Oh. And we want bottom left. And that is just going to put it into the bottom left of every screen, uh, every screen resolution that there is. So that's going to be like that. Uh, now you will notice I did get rid of our clock. I can replace that again uh, now that it's fixed because I can use the background of the uh, of this. So it's much better now. Okay, so we're going to do exactly the same on the start menu. We're going to delete the picture box so we get the blank screen. And then we want to go up to uh, background image and select start menu. And once again, it looks exactly the same as this, as our desktop did. And I'm going to save all of that. And then really, that should be all for the uh, uh, for fixing stuff. So I'm going to run the program again. And let's see how it goes. So splash screen again. Well, uh, this is one of the main processes you'll have to go through, debugging. You want After everything you do, you want to just keep checking to make sure it all works. Otherwise, you could get further along down the line, make everything look really nice, and then you'll realise it doesn't work at all. Okay, so you'll notice this looks far better than that horrible uh, white box of the button we had. Um, my aim is to try and keep this as empty as possible, the, uh, the desktop. So yeah, you click on here, and we've got our menu. Um, and that is as far as we've got up to. Okay, so what I want to do is not necessarily create another form, but I want to sort of show you my ideas of what I want to uh, take through to the next episode. Okay, so we've stopped uh, debugging all this now, and uh, what we want to do is go up to our... Uh, hmm, what's... Right, okay, yeah, I'm going to show you my ideas. So we're going to go actually, we're going to go to Project, Add to Windows Form, and we're going to make a start on the browser. Now, I haven't got all the buttons finished, uh, so we won't be able to, to fully make it yet. But I just want to show you the sort of style of form that we're going with uh, for the main project. So this is just going to be browser.vb. And you see our regular Windows Form opens. and as per usual with these kind of things, well, all we're going to do is take it to our screen resolution size, so 1366 by 768. And I probably should have uh, fixed it before because that will change in a minute as soon as we get rid of our form border style. We just want to put none. Because we're going to make our own sort of heading for all the forms and stuff. Okay, so just make sure that is all the right size 1366 by 768 okay and uh, sorry if you can hear me like uh, well not sneezing but sort of sniffling I've got a bit of a cold coming I think <laughs> uh, but we've got to go on okay so I'm going to hit background image now I've got to say I don't know how much of this is going to work because I I've got a new idea and yeah I didn't think it was going to work properly especially not if the background is like that yeah um, control doesn't support transparent background colors that's not too much of a problem but all I would like is that um, for you to be able to Try that. Yeah, um, I'm not sure how much that is going to work. I'll just leave it at the opacity as 100 for now. But basically, what I wanted is for as you get the arrows form for Windows 7 and Vista, I wanted to kind of keep that style but more sort of square, like it is as you can see with Windows 8. That was the plan, uh, but it doesn't look like that's, that's going to work properly. So, not to worry. What we want to do is we'll prepare the form for when we actually create the uh, browser, which will be in the next episode. So we need to get a 
Just trying to look for it. Um, can't be that difficult to find, surely. A tab control is what we need. Tab control, there we go. <laughs> now, I have actually got, I will quickly show you, I've got all the Krypton sweet stuff which I could use but I want to kind of show you how to do it sort of vanilla so I want to keep everything using regular stuff that you can find on Visual Basics otherwise you might get a bit confused with uh, how stuff moves and, and all that and for some reason that seems to want to dock itself to the corner so let's just undock that if we can Entirely sure what's going on. Well, let's just I'll delete that. Or just put it in the middle in fact. And make sure I don't push it too much to the edge. Okay, so basically we're gonna have a tabbed web browser, which is more than most sort of uh, visual basic operating systems have. A lot of them just tend to be the regular uh, just a, a web browser one which is probably down the bottom. Yeah, web browser, which is the easiest thing to do, but it's not actually very uh, very efficient because you could only have one one tab open and then you'd have to get rid of everything, so it's a bit of a faff, really. Um, So let's just drag this to fill up basically the whole form for now. Uh, what we want to decide is whether to have it like as a regular browser where everything's up at the top is, or to go with a sort of Windows 8 Internet Explorer look where all of the controls are actually down on the bottom. I think that might look quite cool. So that's always an option. And for now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that that's what I'm going to do. But all of these tabs will remain at the top so it might look a bit weird but we'll have to uh, see how it goes. So I'm just going to take this up a bit so we have enough space for a picture box. Now, I am, I'm sorry about this kind of stuff, but it's just a case of trial and error, just seeing how how stuff works, really. Um, okay. So we're going to make that fill the whole thing, and then it should hopefully work. Okay, so let's just go on to picture, background image, and select our panel again. And that is happening again. Um, that's weird. Okay, well, what we're going to do then is we can test this out and see if that actually works because this is kind of been a bit weird. Um, let's just anchor that to the to, uh, to left, right, and the bottom. Okay. Um, so now let's go to Start Menu, the Design, and double-click on the browser. So picture box two, which is this, and all we want to do is say browser dot show, oh. browser dot show, and that will open the form. And then, as we've done with the other ones, we'll say me dot close to free up some resources on your computer, so you're not running like 20 million windows at the same time. Okay, so let's debug and see how this works. What I might do, strictly for testing purposes, is to just have a big button on the opening screen so we don't have to keep logging in every time. Okay, so we've opened the browser, we've got the two tabs like this, and 
as I thought. There seems to be a big gap down the side, so I've got no idea what's going on there. Uh, so let's just go back into VB and have a look. Okay, so I've managed to fix it. It was just a problem with the graphics, actually. Uh, I've just resized everything, so now it should work. Um, and yeah, I think we're going to leave it like that for today. And next week, we're going to actually make our browser, um, which is is probably one of the easier things to do. But because we're using a tab control instead of a regular box, it'll be uh, it'll produce a better result in the end. Okay, so thanks ever so much for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye.